we got there, I hopped off the bus, got a cab, went out to the airport. And I walked, I walked down to her gate to meet her. It was still one more year before that was pretty much ruined forever. Anyways, I, I went to her gate and her flight was late. And, and so I sat there for, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. And, and the sun, the sun started to go down. And it was like this huge ball of fire just falling into the ocean. Like the whole horizon was in flames. And then I saw this plane drop. Well, the silhouette of the plane drop out of the darkness into the glow of the sun. And then it looked like the plane just flew straight into the sun. And I got this, this terrible, shitty feeling inside. I mean, I don't even know that it was her plane. I, I, just, I had it in my head that it was. You wait all your life for something permanent. Everything is so temporary. And you just wait forever for something to come along that doesn't seem like it's gonna just go away. And all of a sudden, watching that play, I got this sick feeling like the things we had were just gonna blow away in the wind. But then the gate opened and all the people came out. And and I looked up and I saw Amelia and she, she was so beautiful. And I remember, I remember how much I loved her. And I told myself, just, just forget all that shit. It's just how it fits in your head anyway. And, uh, and things were good for a while. And when they weren't, I asked myself, like, I wondered if I should have done something differently, but I, I, I couldn't really think of what to do. I mean, in that situation, what can you do? Nothing I can think of. If you knew everything, if you could, if you could just see everything before it happened, then what would you do? If you knew the love you threw away. 